Good morning, family. This is Miss Norma. Once more, we'll be reading from the book for the month of October, um, Living His Love. October the 10th is titled, A Love Story. Let us pray. Abba Father, thank you this morning for your leading and your guidance. Thank you by your grace, Lord, waking us up clothed in our right minds. We know, Lord, some of us woke up with some stuff on our plates. <sighs> Jesus, thank you so much for your grace. Thank you, Lord, so much for taking a few minutes to step back and just breathe, Lord, and ask for your direction as to what we should do, where we should go, who we should call. Uh, many questions, Lord, but Father, every answer is found in you. So thank you, Lord, this morning, blessing your holy name. Thank you, Abba Father, and thank you for the Holy Spirit in our lives, for Christ's sake, amen. Good morning, family, once more. A love story. It says, The Lord appeared to us in the past, saying, I have loved you with an everlasting love. I have drawn you with unfailing kindness. Amen. That's Jeremiah 31 and verse 3. And it reads, I was born into a Christian home in 1948. I lost my mom when I was only seven days old. My father remarried, having two more daughters and two sons. When I learned to read, it became my favorite hobby, hobby. Although my grandmother, a Christian, did not support my reading, so at night I read secretly by moonlight or by the light of a nearby street lamp. My stepmother, however, encouraged me to study. I became a teacher. When I was around 20 years of age, a young Christian man wrote asking me to date him. I did not answer the letter because I thought a more serious commitment would be premature at that time. In 1986, I met and eventually married a widower gentleman. A widower gentleman. In 1993, however, I became a widow. For two years, I suffered with grief over the loss of my husband. A sister of the church suggested, I remember the good times we spent together. Her advice helped me. Then in 2000, the same man who had asked me to date him back in 1968, have mercy, searched for me. He shared that in 1975, he had married another young woman. Together they had four children. Now he was a widower and was full of love to give me. We got married in 2001 at the farm of his parents where the civil and religious weddings were held out in nature. Interesting enough, my new husband, Ivaldo, had written four books his first being his autobiography entitled, Three Loves, Happy Ending. He describes first the love we share with God, the love we have for our neighbors, and then the love for ourselves. This book also mentions our earlier brief history and also an account of how God miraculously saved him from death several times. Amen. I praise God for his care in providing someone to make me happy. Together we, have, we await the great hope, the return of Jesus Christ. Amen. We begin our days with worship, song, prayer, and wishing each other a happy day. Together through missionary work, we have won two families to Christ. Amen. God never leads his children otherwise than they would choose to be led. If they could see the end from the beginning and discern the glory of the purpose which they are fulfilling as co-workers with him. Amen. This is a quote from the book, Our Father's Care. Praise God. Amen. Our reading for today, A Love Story, was written by Need 
Needy de Cesores. Amen. Amen. Lord, we thank you for this lighthearted um, story about love, Father. We thank you, Lord. We know that it has been an encouragement to someone's heart today. Thank you for the sharing. Thank you, Lord, for the faith and the hope and trust, Lord, that this story shows all of us. Lord, your continued blessing and healing in all of our lives. Lord, the continuance of peace within the confines of our homes, Lord. But most of all, Lord, peace up here. Peace that keeps us, Lord, when nothing else will. So I thank you, Lord, for the peace that passes all understanding of the gift of peace and blessing and healing to each and every one, Lord, that it, um, listens to this prayer, Lord. May your presence always be here. Thank you, Abba Father, in Jesus' name, amen. Have a blessed day, family. Blessings and healing to all of your land. And by his grace, I will see us all later. Amen. May we all be counted present, not just here, but in the kingdom of heaven at the return of Christ. Amen. And remember, family, I love you, but Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, loves you the best and the most and the greatest. His is truly the greatest love of all. Amen. Blessings, family. Have a wonderful day. This is Miss Norma signing off. Amen.